July is jam-packed with cozy game releases, and here are some of the ones I think you should be most excited about. Hi, welcome to Cozy Tea Games, a channel where I brew up cozy game recommendations and the teas that I love best with them. But no tea recommendations today, because right now we are just getting a little sneak peek at some of the July releases, starting with one of my personal favorites. Sticky Business. In this game, you run a small business making stickers. Form cute designs with colorful art and build up your shop's theme. You'll cater to customers that like your style and carefully pack their orders. Then here their hopefully delighted feedback. There is so much freedom and creativity here to combine stickers in any way you want. There's also different aesthetics, so if you like plants or if you like a more goth style, you can choose the sort of stickers you want to put in your shop and you will attract customers that like that style. There's also Twitch integration, so if you're a streamer, you can actually take orders from viewers that are watching. I just think that's such a cool idea. Sometimes Bliss is just games like Sticky Business, a low pressure small shop sim to relax to in the evening. I have been just really excited to play this game. It is so cozy looking and I've been following the team. They've put a lot of love in creating over 200 stickers for you to work with in your shop. So July 17th, you will 100% find me playing this game. Venba. If you have an interest in learning how to make South Indian dishes, you can pick up some skills in this narrative puzzle cooking game. The story follows Zenba, who moved to Canada with her husband, and they both ended up staying longer than they planned. But as the harsh realities of struggling to form a new life began to weigh on her, she began to long for the comforting taste of her mother's old recipes. You'll stand at the kitchen counter and try to puzzle out the missing steps as you follow along real recipes for South Indian dishes. These old recipes are smudged so you'll have to use some clever deduction and perhaps a few failed attempts before you get it right. But if success looks like this, I will not be giving up anytime soon. There's so much to love about Venma. I am a huge fan of cooking games and add a generous helping of emotional story and I am done. After playing the free demo, which admittedly is very short, I'm already super hungry for more. I think this game is gonna conjure up a lot of feelings in anyone who kind of believes in the soul nourishing power of a home cooked meal from someone who loves you. It just has this really sweet nostalgic feel and beautiful handmade graphics. It's a sentimental cooking game and I really really like that idea. It is arriving July 31st so we will have to wait a bit for this one but I'm still happy it's coming this month. Lakeburg Legacies. Are you ready to make people fall in love for the good of the kingdom? If you're a fan of matchmaking games with some town management thrown in there then this is going to be your game this month. You will take the role of the village matchmaker and analyze each incoming villager's personality profile and decide if you will marry them off for love or to bring in talented new artisans in town that will help your town's production. But a good match is nothing with a bad courtship, so you'll have to guide them through dates and help their relationship along as you see fit. Love is a resource in this game and the happier your couples, the more successful your town will be. You can even follow a lineage generation after generation and see if your match was a success and heck, even help their descendants find love as well. This cozy game has such a delightful demo. It really set my expectations super high. It's a romantic looking game that's adorably charming and once you learn the mechanics you can just really spend the whole day building up your town. Something I did even with the demo. <laughs> it has all the drama of a medieval version of The Sims. These villagers will just straight up form love triangles, they'll have their own little tiffs that you can check up on. On one hand you'll be making strategic decisions and trying to manage the whole town but then you'll zoom in and be like what Eric has been cheating on Ariel? What? They're both married. It's a wonderful game and like I said love is a resource so you can choose to be someone who makes the town very, very productive or one that has more happy marriages and things like that. But these are both strategies that totally work within this game. Atelier Marie Remake, The Alchemist of Salberg. Atelier calls itself a leisure adventure RPG, and I think that is an excellent description. Marie is a failing student who aims to be an alchemist one day, but her skills are simply not up to par. She has been given one last chance, a graduation exam where she must create one item that will impress her professor. You are given five years to help Marie meet this challenge. This requires you to collect ingredients, buy recipes, equipment, and make money to hire adventurers on more challenging expeditions. The Atelier series has been pretty consistent so far, and I think this one looks incredibly charming. I love the graphics and the world it's set in. And since the game is a modernized remake of the original, which was designed with a more rigid time limit in mind, you basically had to complete the game before the five years were up and every action you did cost time. It made it a lot harder to beat. But in this remake, you can choose to forego the graduation deadline and finish the game at your own pace, a choice that I think provides a cozier and more leisurely playing experience. Regardless of your game mode, everything you do in this game costs time, energy, money, or 
ingredients. So this is a great choice if you're someone who likes a resource management style game. I think there's something for everyone in this one, so keep a lookout for it. Catch and Cook Fishing Adventure. Imagine being able to catch your food and cook it right there. Catch and Cook Fishing Adventure is a cozy exploration game where you'll steer your little ship across these vibrant blue seas in pursuit of the most delectable variety of seafood imaginable. From lobsters and eels to large tender fish, you'll pull your catches into your small boat and cook them right up to perfection. With each order, you'll test your culinary skills, experimenting with and improving upon basic recipes as you discover different cooking mechanics and purchase ingredients from the locals on shore to elevate your dishes. I am so in love with the brilliant colors in this game. They definitely capture a feel of a beautiful tropical sea. I am fully expecting Dredge's happy twin sister here, though I don't see any of the puzzling aspect of Dredge. So I believe we can expect a more laid back and casual playing experience and I'm here for it. And if you don't want to wait for July 14th for its release, you can go ahead and test out the demo to see if you're hooked or not. Pikmin 4. A new Pikmin game is landing this month and I don't even know if I really need an introduction to this one, but if you have been under a rock, then welcome to Nintendo's most adorable exploration puzzle game, where you'll balance caring for your Pikmin and then pretty much using them for ammo. You'll pluck these little seedlings from the ground, after which they will follow you around faithfully, helping you explore the world, complete tasks, and using their special abilities to your benefit. Looks like we'll also be introduced to a new character, Oachi, which will serve a bit like a sidekick and steed that you can train for additional tasks. I don't think we'll be disappointed by this one, but I am already dreading that heavy price tag. Still, this looks amazing, so definitely keep an eye out for Pikmin 4. Oxenfree 2, Lost Signals. The original game, Oxenfree, was about a girl named Alex and her friends who decide to throw a party on this abandoned military island and through some teenage mischief, accidentally open a ghostly rift into a supernatural world. This slow-paced, story-rich game had a deeply eerie atmosphere, but what set it aside was the special weight it gave to the choices you made as the main character, Alex. Ultimately, the relationships you made and how you affected them would affect the overall outcome of the game. Beneath its eerie atmosphere, Oxenfree dealt a lot with heartfelt themes of grief and guilt and the complex ties of teenage friendship. The sequel takes place five years after the events of the first game. Radio stations can't broadcast through static, planes are losing their radar, and unnatural things are happening in this small coastal town. So our protagonist, Riley, returns to her hometown to find out what's happening. Now warning, this isn't your traditional cozy game. I'd classify it more like dark cozy because ultimately it is a simple walking and conversation sim with without any jump scares or graphic scenes. But if it's like the first game, there will be creepy moments and underlying tension, along with some heavy themes. So if you don't like the supernatural, steer clear of this one. But if you don't mind a bit of spook and want a good story, check it out. And don't worry if you haven't played the first one, this will be released as a standalone game, but we'll delve further into the lore of the first game. Koa. If 3D platforming is more your speed, this might be your game this month. Explore a series of colorful and varied islands and discover all the secrets and collectibles hidden within and ultimately challenge the five pirates of the Mara Sea. Koa has a classic platforming vibe. It's very bright and cheery. It almost feels nostalgic, sort of like the old platformers of former years. This game was originally founded on Kickstarter and said to have taken inspiration visually from Studio Ghibli movies. And I can definitely see that in these characters. But spiritually, it was inspired by the adventure you feel during your childhood summers. This looks like a fun, easy game to pick up and put down. I'm very curious about the story, but I am terrible at platforming, so I think I'd rather see someone play this one than play it myself. Still, I am very much looking forward to it. Master's Pupil. In this game, you'll play Claude Monet's pupil. And I don't mean his student, I mean his like actual eye. As the pupil of the master artist, you know how to identify the right colors needed to form these legendary masterpieces. You'll adventure through abstract worlds and maneuver through puzzles with the goal of helping the famous painter create some of his greatest masterpieces. Learn about the painter's life as you progress from painting to painting, feeling the impact of the upturns and downturns of Monet's life in world-shaping ways, from the loss of his wife to the difficulties he faced in developing cataracts. All the brushstrokes and art in this game have been painstakingly hand-painted over the course of seven years, so I think you'll get a very deep appreciation of all this lovely artwork when the game finally releases this month. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. This one really snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting nor asking for a Hello Kitty game, but after seeing the trailer, I am really impressed. They definitely captured that beachy, cute Animal Crossing vibe with all these lovely characters and variety of activities you can do. From what I understand now, I think they're only releasing this on mobile. I'm curious to see how well it plays on the phone because the 
trailer does make it look very expansive. But with the Hello Kitty brand, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get something really polished and fun. We're told there will be lots of adorable creatures, delicious foods, and many mysteries to explore. My brain immediately jumped to a murder mystery, but I really don't think Hello Kitty will have that. Either way, I'm very curious to see what mysteries this island will have, and very much looking forward to this one. Let's school. Let's school makes you the principal with the challenge of revamping your school and managing your students. You'll focus on constructing the building and designing it so it satisfies the demands of your students and teachers, and also fits the aesthetic you find most pleasing or innovative. There's a lot of freedom here and you can create some pretty eccentric structures and innovate in very unique ways. Your student body is filled with students with a lot of unique interests and aspirations, so you'll have to make sure your programs will inspire them and maintain a faculty that can lead them to academic success. Beyond the wider scope of things, the game also focuses on the smaller scope of being a principal at the school. You'll handle individual crises that your students have like bullying and see their personal stories unravel as the years go on. The choices you make will also have long reaching consequences too. I personally love management games like this and the variety of unique choices and strategies is really impressive. This might be a great game to get sucked into for hours. So if you like cozy city builder style games, this one's for you. And those are the July cozy game releases this month. I hope you found something that spoke to you. I wanna be able to do these videos monthly and give all my cozy gamers a quick summary of what to expect each month. So if you like this video, please engage with it in some way and I'll know to keep making these for you. But for now, have a beautiful day and look forward to seeing you next time.